Hi, Nick Tockert here with the Historical Fencing Guild. Well, folks, I'm actually doing this video as an immediate response to something I just heard. In Texas, they have just legalized, or they're going to in September. There's an article I saw. I'll see if I can snag the link and throw it in the description. They're going to legalize uh, brass knuckles, kitty cat keychains, things like that as legal defense tools because as the, at, at, oh, I'm sorry, I'm staggered. I'm actually stuttering worse than normal because I, this makes me very happy. We have, they're, they're realizing, hey, we need tools to defend ourselves and many of us would rather not carry firearms because of the range increment problems that firearms can generate from a legal defense and from being able to say, yes, I chose a less lethal option. This makes me very, very happy. I've talked about it before. I'll talk about it again. And I'll keep talking about it in hopes that someday nationwide we'll get it through our head that we're not England. Okay? And as they put it, because they lifted their ban on switchblades recently, we're not in West Side Story. We don't need these laws to identify criminals. I'm sorry, I still think that that's, it was unconstitutional to put in the first place. The places that have such uh, regulations are unconstitutional. It's just not right. Well, I will let and, and discuss the firearm debate. I will let people talk about tech verse, you know, founding fathers, even though I have fairly solid opinions on this. There is no room for discussion for, for basic melee type weapons, you know, knives, axes, things like this. They were expressly intended when this was covered. The historical precedent is there. There should be no doubt. Alongside the fact that knives are, to, are weapons second and tools first, it's just one of their applications as a tool of self-defense. So I am really excited. I know I'm not putting a lot of content into this. I just, I needed to express and share with you guys what I heard. I do encourage people, write your representatives. Talk about this. If we're going to discuss 2A, we really need to separate and just put this part to bed before we go any farther, okay? Melee, hand-to-hand, -hand, basic combat weapons, tools of defense are protected in our right to bear arms. It should not be negotiable. I'm looking at New York on this one, looking real hard, because right now, because it's so easy to get a felony for, for the different kinds of pocket knives and things, I won't go to New York. Others feel that way. When that starts hurting the pocketbook, this will change. So congratulations once again to Texas. Let's keep this going, okay? Let's make it where, you know, basic tools aren't vilified anymore. And then we can get on to, to more interesting discussion, okay? Well, thank you. If you like what I'm talking about, if you like what we do, you like want to learn to sword fight, you know, like, share, subscribe, follow the channel. Your comments are always welcome. If you really want to support me, either look into my books. You can find them in the gobbledygook at the bottom. And I have a bunch of more stuff on Amazon. More stuff is coming. and Or consider becoming a Patreon. I don't get any support for what I do. I get absolutely no ad revenue. So anything you give me literally is what allows me to keep doing this. Thank you. Support your local sword master.